and then I'm also working for the Hood River Cherry Company, making 52 drawings of cherry orchards. And, All right. My um, uncle, my family is cherry orchard people up oh, there cool. in Hood River, yeah. So oh, really? I'm sure they're connected to that somehow. Yeah. He was I'm, president of the uh, Odell. I can't remember what the name of the thing was. Now I'm embarrassed. <laughs> He's president. Uncle Short, short. Yeah. he was the president of something up there in Hood River, and it had to do with cherries. I know that. Right. <laughs> so, uh, again, or... uh, let's check out the, yeah. the, the front. Okay, we're going to go do a little walkthrough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to go. We do this all the time. So, okay. they're used to it. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. So, yeah, this is the uh, shirts the here. Front. Oh, the shirt, the t-shirts are, uh, it's my design, and I'm, as you can see, I'm wearing the shirt. <coughs> um, I have different colors of men's, women's, and kids, and then I also do toddlers and onesies. Um, and it's, it's my drawing of the Portland, Oregon sign, and it's silk screened by my friend Nathan, who runs the Make House, which is a silk screening studio about one block away. Um, just up the street and so it's a collaboration and it's a lot of fun and we've been making shirts for about uh, almost four years as as old as the playing cards wow. I've been making t-shirts and it's just kind of a side project um, um, but these are the this is the display for the playing cards so again we're at the Alberta studios um, which is a co-op and he's right in the middle of it he's been here for how long um, Three, four years? Four years I've been in this studio. I, I first came to the studio about ten years ago when my friends had um, diff multiple art studios here in the building when it was all painters in the building. Yeah. And now it's become more gift shops and um, jewelry and consignment and well, I, think, the cards. I think the thing that I've heard the most here talking to you is that your family is really very important to you. I mean, he's got a long history of art in there and, and has re referred to grandpa and dad and yeah. mom. <laughs> My dad made this uh, sculpture too, this wooden Look at that. piece here. And uh, and you love Portland. Yeah, you really love, love the place that you live. And I think there's a lot of people that live here that... I lived in LA for 17 years. I was born and raised in Beaver, below our area. And then uh, 92, I moved out and lived in uh, Los Angeles for 17 years. And then I came back about six, seven years ago now. And so, yeah, just trying to make our way. But yeah, I've, I've uh, left Portland so many times and moved away and lived in other cities. And I kept coming back. And, and four years ago when I came back, I was, I just, I was just so happy to be back that I was just in love and like I love the, my city it's still yeah. my city and well, it's moved back right back to my old neighborhood and kind of picked up today. picked up where I left off and yeah. so many other artists are here in this building now yeah um, we have hand, hand, hand dyed clothing across the way okay and uh, this, the lady the other lady makes uh, herbal essences and um, and we have a hair salon next door and what's downstairs? Uh, downstairs, there's photography. There's a band that plays, um, and there's uh, another lady that does uh, like felted uh, sculptures. <laughs> Very cool. Um, yeah, so we're at sixteen twenty seven Alberta. Yeah. We uh, want to talk about the Fourth F of Friday, right? Mm -hmm. We have a, a party slash gallery that we're doing once a month it'll be on the last Friday of every month of oh, cool. 2015 the fourth Friday maybe there could be five. Oh, fourth fourth Friday yeah I guess there could be where five. is it is that gonna be on we're gonna do it or? well it's, we're gonna do it at our house <coughs> the first one oh that's at uh, 3646 Southeast um, 119th Southeast 119th Avenue in Portland and uh, yeah we've invited all of the artists that We've interviewed to come and you know meet all the other artists that we've interviewed and hang out and showcase their art. Showcase their yeah. art, and we're gonna have What's a, the date? The twenty twenty third, from seven uh, p.m. to eleven p.m. All right. 
and uh, there's gonna be some live music, and we're gonna provide some food, and we're gonna paint a wall. We're gonna paint a wall. All we're, right. we're we're painting it white, and we're gonna do some kind of let everybody just kind of contribute if they want, wow. you know. And uh, yeah, it should be a good time. But uh, we're gonna have a free will raffle, and uh, we've asked the artists if they want to donate a piece of work or something that we might be able to raffle off sure. on that night. You know, and so I got a deck of cards for you. Cool. <laughs> that would be really and cool. And we hope that you can make it out and bring your friends and yeah. tell everybody. And we want to make it a promotional activity, you know, just to go along with the art life video, you know, and, and give everybody an opportunity to sort of, you know, art thrives in community. And the yeah. more we know each other and the more people we know, and we're all doing this same thing, you know. I just feel like if you stir the pot, more creativity creativity comes up. Yeah, <laughs> and connect the dots and get get people to talk about it more. It's great right. to it's great to learn about the different processes that people have. Oh, I love it. I love it. Do. You know, and yeah, I mean, I love the way. You, now you work from a bigger thing and then shrink it down. Yes. To the, uh, yeah, my originals are all sketched on location. Um, at How big do you usually 10. work? Eight by ten. Yeah, um, you can see the originals on the wall there. They're like uh, just the way. pencil pen. I usually sketch with a ballpoint pen, and then uh, I just compose everything as I see it on site, and then later I embellish all the details um, in my studio or um, on the go. Sometimes I'll just use a sharpie and. Um, a lot of these early drawings I was working out in cafes and on the bus and wherever, wherever I was, I was working on the drawings. These are all originals. Um, these are the only ones that exist of these? Yeah. yeah. Do you do prints of them? I do prints. Uh, that's how, you know, I, was, I used to sell the prints more and have shows and cafes and things. Huh? Um, but then now it's more like people just want the collection as a deck of cards and I don't I don't need to sell the prints, right. so if people buy the cards, uh, you get one print or you get 52 prints in a deck or in a pack. And you have um, a, uh, a website that we can plug here? Or sure. Where can people um, find you on Illustrated, Illustratedplayingcards.com. 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 Illustratedplayingcards. <laughs> there you go. Say it three times. That's how we're supposed to do it. Illustratedplayingcards.com. <laughs> You should go there and check it out. Yeah, yeah. So well, Aaron for, Trotter is uh, for including me in your yeah, survey. Absolutely, and, you know, Portland artists. Appreciate your time. Yeah. Cheers. Bye, everybody. Bye. We love you. Thank you. <laughs>